I know, right? Hey, Gabe, what's up? Um, I'm studying for Dr. Kelly's third exam, and I'm having trouble with indirect benefits. I think you can help. Yeah, um, which indirect benefits are you having trouble with? Um, good genes hypothesis and the Fisher runaway hypothesis. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I remember those. Um, those can definitely be kind of confusing, but I think I can help you understand them. All right, cool. Let me pull up my notes. Okay. So first, in order to understand the difference between good gene hypothesis and Fisher runaway hypothesis, we need to define what an indirect benefit is. An indirect benefit is a benefit that affects the genetic quality of the female's offspring. When referencing the good gene hypothesis or the Fisher runaway hypothesis, the choosy sex will select partners that have or display more of a certain trait. The decorative plumage of a peacock is a good example for explaining these two hypotheses. The female peahen, when choosing a mate, prefers males that have ornate large feathers. In relation to the good gene hypothesis, the more decorative the plumage, the better the genes of the mate. The large beautiful feathers require a lot of energy to grow, but this energy is not wasted because it increases the male's chance of being selected by the female. The most important takeaway from the good gene hypothesis is that the decorative feathers actually symbolize overall genetic quality. In relation to Fisher runaway hypothesis, the plumage does not affect the overall quality of the peacock's genes. Just like in the good gene hypothesis, females select for males with larger, more decorative feathers. A key difference is that the feathers do not represent genetic quality. From the female's perspective, even though the genetic quality of their offspring is random, the female sons will make large decorative feathers like their father's feathers, thus increasing evolutionary fitness. The Fisher runaway hypothesis essentially defines the trait being looked for as a fad. So, do you think that makes sense to you or what? I mean, I guess. Um, so, would an example be if a girl's walking in the mall, and she sees a guy and she finds him really attractive and she walks towards him and then she sees another guy I guess with tattoos and she finds him more attractive and she decides to go for him and mate with him would that be an example so is that like saying that all girls would like people with tattoos more than people without tattoos I guess in a way yeah so I think that that's close you know so that kind of violates the rule of uh, since they're both indirect benefits uh, to be an indirect benefit I guess uh, it the trait needs to be heritable but um, if having tattoos was a heritable trait I could definitely see how that could be an example of oh, okay. like Fisher runaway okay so because it's like a fad like we said before okay that makes sense all right okay